understand all on the table topic, but I really hate Facebook because <laughs> everyone can't see my face. So when I say you're so stupid, the other side will be you're stupid. <laughs> okay, so start my event. I'm Julian and I'm a graduate school student and I'm majoring in computer and communication engineering. So the C10 speaker, Harry, congratulations. You'll finish your CD program. Let's give him a rich round of applause. C10 program is about to persuade people to inspire your audience. So everyone here, do you inspire by the power of the story? Yeah. Yeah, some of them some of the audience not, but not everyone. So I will point out some some problem in your speech. In the uh, the advanced program that after the CC program is a program about the storytelling. I have to say your score your story is great in your speech, and that is powerful. I like it really much. But the topic today is the power of the story. So your main point is how to say a powerful story and how to inspire your audience. So they are not just share a story on the stage. When you are talking about, you are teaching about how to learn a math. You are not just tell. You are not just teaching math. You are teaching a way how to deliver that and why you have to use stories. Because the power of the story, there are pros and cons. And maybe you can compare with the sentence and the story. It's like you have a great story talking about love and your parents. You are not just saying the story. You can compare with the sentence. Evelyn, please love your parents. Okay, that's just a sentence, but after your story, I believe that everyone is all inspired by the story. And that is pretty much, and so much power inside. So, how to deliver that? In, in your speech, you can point out the great story structure, and how to say a good story. And I think the be difference between the story and I just tell you, is between about just like you you phenomenal in your speech because you everyone's mind is just like a castle. So if you I just say something to you, you will reject it. But the story will let you to imagine you are the character inside of them. So you can start to find a relationship and think what you are one of the story member inside of them. So you can start to think, not just someone to tell you. So the detail will make a story the sex. I like your metaphor about a toy. But just like a toy, your good metaphor try to say it more because everyone wants to know what you want to share about on the stage. So but the good point is he really believed what he said on the stage about his story and his own experience. Okay, so that's really important in the persuade part. You have to believe what you say, so then you can inspire your audience. So make it more detailed about your vocal variety. You have to be a powerful conclusion and your story ending. You can use microphone because I heard some of the audience not heard quite clear in the back of the stage. So combine the movement and your vocal to be a detail to let every audience to get your story easier. That is the main point in your speech. So if you just tell a story, we cannot know how to deliver them. So I think that is really important part, uh, a big a big part of your of your topic. So um, so I think you can do m way more than that. I think so. I see so many C10 speeches, and I also see so many your speeches before. So maybe you can do it after the advanced program about the storytelling. I think everyone just your finished C10 speech, I think you can do it better. Okay. Back to David.